Oh, hey, everybody. I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a beautiful little game called World Box. There's no volcano to sacrifice elves to today, so we're gonna have to put a volcano in just so we can start every World Box video the same. Hello, little elf. Imagine you running around on the lava fields and you're like, oh, it's terrifying and frightening. And then you see your friend and you're like, oh, yay, we're gonna be saved. And then you just fall in the lava and die. Yeah, because you get lava bombed. And then this other elf is just running around. He's like, hey, guys, I'm alone in this world all by myself with the bears that are going to eat me. Oh. And that the bear doesn't, the bear doesn't like, the bear doesn't like eating hippies. Oh, but the lava does. So this is a nice world. But somebody in the last video was like, hey, Blitz, you should really use antimatter bombs instead of dropping nukes. So we're going to see how the nuke looks. That's satisfying, a little bit of screen shake. Here's the antimatter bombs. Ooh, ooh, those are kind of nice. I kind of wish I could pause the game and then just spread nukes and antimatter bombs everywhere. But I don't really know how to pause the game when it's being destroyed like that. Oh yeah. Well, destruction is pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. Did anything survive? Let's see as the water manages to seep its way back into existence. And it looks like everything's gone except this little patch of shallow water, which we're gonna get rid of right now. Yay! So you're probably saying to yourself, Blitz, why don't you actually do what you told me we were gonna do in the title of the video and make a gigantic maze for our civilizations to meet in the middle and hopefully not kill each other. Just kidding. We want them to kill each other. Now I'm using high mountains in here because I don't think they can actually walk across the mountains. And what we'll do is we'll create nice, beautiful worlds for them to settle on if they decide that they want to settle with the rest of civilization. We'll give them each a little grassy area and then we'll make a nice little sandy maze all the way to the middle. And by maze, I just, it's not really a maze because I don't know how to draw mazes. I'm not a scientist or anything. Yeah, that looks kind of satisfying. Fine. Now, hopefully, if I did my brain thinking correctly, the people aren't going to be able to cross over here, and they're not going to be probably able to build a houses in the middle of that. So their civilizations will be on the corners, and then they'll go kill each other in the middle. We just need to give it a little bit of water. Blitz is going to bless the rains in Africa. Slap in a buttload of trees. Give them some nice ore deposits. And now what we're going to do is put penguins in the world just because penguins on top of rocks don't seem to like rocks. Ha, what abominable snowmen? No, they, they kind of die too. That's not fun. How about crabs? Sheep? Goats? Rabbit things? Um, piranhas. <laughs> piranhas obviously live in the mountains. All right, fine. I'm just going to bless you like the rains in Africa. Oh, but the penguins are swimming now. We probably need to get rid of them. Because we don't want a penguin invasion. That would be illegal. Lightning blast! Got him. Nuked him. Yay! Wait, they're not dead yet. Are you dead yet? We need to kill the abominable snowman. Santa's not going to be happy that it escaped. All right, I think we won. Except there's a cactus on fire. And the abominable snowman's still alive. Would you not be alive anymore, dude? Like, for real this time. Okay, I killed it. And I'm going to let the rabbit live because it's swimming. And it has to swim all the way over here if it wants to live with its friend chickens, which I didn't spawn in. You know, my favorite things to do in this game, too, is open up this settings thing, click the hamburger a bunch of times, and then this menu pops up over here. And if I do that, and then there's a button on here that you guys absolutely hate, it's this one called Fast Spawn. And if we click that, you can fast spawn things in, like rats in the ocean. See how that works? And you get like hundreds of rats in an instant. But you know what you don't get? You don't have an understanding of how many rats are actually there, which is why I use the trusty rusty auto clicker that makes boink noises. So now what I can do is I can take these humans and I can say, I want to repeat this 200 times with 10 milliseconds in between each one. And I go boop and ta-da, we now have 200 humans all stacked on top of each other, which is why I use that tool. We can also do it with these. Also one of my favorite sounds in the entire world. And we can spawn in 200 Shreks. And of course the things from Lord of the Rings orcs or some human dwarf things yeah words are hard for me sometimes so now what we do is try to take out the world laws let's see do we want random events uh yes do we want rebellions no not really 
Do we want Kingdom Expansion? Absolutely. And Stealing Borders? It's always fun. What is this? Angry Villagers? No thanks. We're going to have them eat? Yeah, they need food, plus they die of old age. Nah, we don't like that. But I do want Natural Disasters on because that's always exciting. So, turn on time to plus five. Actually, no. We're just going to go to, like, Sonic Speed because that's more fun. And let the world go. We have villages. We have fun. We have things. Oh, their people are moving. Hold up. Are they actually moving? What are these? These are the elves. I wasn't expecting this. Let's go regular speed now. They're mo That's not regular speed. I was not expecting him to go on like this little migration meeting like, hey, we're just going to move through the cactus fields to the center of the world. Oh, <laughs> almost all of the dwarves are doing that too, including this chunky one. And a large barbarian horde is headed there as well. Don't worry, we set up two towns of 50 people, but we're going to set up a big war in the middle. They probably should nuke them. Anyone who settles in the middle gets nuked. I just made that rule up. Actually not, because I want to see the wars happen. And there's some sort of weird, like, dog spider. Who are totally running in and attacking the dwarves who are just trying to make a home. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. Oh, the dog spiders died. That's too bad. Uh, we have a rainstorm up here that's dropping rain and lightning. I just heard like- Oh, there's another one! <laughs> yes, natural disasters are the best. Oh, wow! Okay, so much for trying to settle in the middle. They're just going all out war, which is fine. Let's be honest, I don't really care about either one of those civilizations as long as the humans win. And I think everything is dying of starvation. <laughs> They're just flashing because they've ran in the middle with no food. I didn't think about that. So let's make them not hungry anymore. Now they'll just battle each other to death with their fists and it'll be much more exciting. Also, Zodak has uh, been born, which is a barbarian country. I'll hail Parag, the Ord, whatever that is. The doors are absolutely beating the snot out of the barbarians too, but that's fine because the barbarians are now going for the capital of the dwarves and the humans are like, hey guys, I made bread. Isn't it nice? Let's go collect some berries. Okay, dwarves, you have one chance to make it in this world. And it's probably by elevating this guy right here to the kingdom. Because Bear, or he looks cool. And I want him to be my favorite. I'm going to also name him Kevin. Because Kevin is a good name. And I can't even spell correctly. But Kevin better not die on us. And good. The dwarves have finally figured out how to kill things. Also, the humans figured out how to gather, gather berries. The Rocky Oakum has declared war. And everyone's declared there's war. war. Whoa. Are they making war against themselves? Why are there so many things happening? Oh, no. Dov died. And a tornado appeared in the water. And it's going crazy. <laughs> what is... Sonic speed is, is insane. But the good news is the kingdom, the Spears of Ekorim, have died. And it looks like this kingdom here has pretty much taken over the center. And they've split from this side. Which tells me that we need to build islands out here. And now a straight up earthquake happened? Oh man! <laughs> earthquake just destroyed almost this entire civilization. That's amazing. I feel bad for them. Just kidding, I don't. <laughs> Another tornado has appeared too. <laughs> oh, look at the people being sucked up into it. Oh, that's funny. They're bouncing around on the mountains. How does a tornado can go on the mountains? The worst words didn't make sense, but I knew exactly what I was saying. It's kind of funny because they're all dying on the mountains now. I didn't really recognize that they couldn't walk through it. Oh, they built houses in there. Interesting. Go over here, tornado. Oh, it's leaving. <laughs> nope, never mind. He's coming back. Real question. Time. Can I kill a tornado with lightning? No, I can make two tornadoes, though. <laughs> oh, I got rid of one. Okay, that's good. We got rid of the tornadoes. I have a feeling that this might be the end of the barbarians. There's a very large tribe of dwarves that are headed this way. Oh, just kidding. I think they just made peace right before their imminent demise. Oh, I think they're totally at war again. Yeah, they're totally at war. This is not going to end well for the barbarians. Why is there so much lightning? Oh, just in the mountains. That's fine. The kingdom of Urgdas was destroyed. Yay. So they're starting to build ships, but nobody's gone and settled my little islands yet. I think they probably need some sort of volcano on each island, like an acid geyser, or maybe like a regular volcano. Or what's this one? Ho boiling hot water? That sounds fun. And these two groups just keep battling back and forth, running their little armies through this middle area. And then they finally get to the houses and they're like, oh boy, free human meat. And they're not humans, they're dwarves. 
but they eventually battle each other and then they just die because it's a really long walk. And they're like, man, I just want to go home. Or wait, it's a different, you're going, you're, you're going to go from up there over to here. And now the archers in the backside, they're in war with these guys, not these guys. These ones are like, yeah, just go ahead and pass right through our territory to go kill our kin. Oh, now they made peace again. They're like, just kidding. We really don't want to fight because that hurt a lot. They did the sneak attack. They brought their army over before the war started. And then they declared war when they were here. This might be the end of the barbarians or they're just going to make peace again. Oh, the king was slain by dues. <laughs> feel bad for the king or a guy named dues. It's probably a, a better. Yeah, I feel bad for dues. Imagine growing up with that name. Oh no, and Urzod was killed. Now I'm switching to the guy who killed him, which was the king. And now they've set up an actual civilization on the island. This could be very good for the dwarves. And in an interesting turn of events, the dwarves are now gone and the humans decided to come over here? What are you guys doing way over here? You like the South Pole, not living up north. There's penguins and stuff up here. See, I made them have penguins. I'm also really surprised nobody's come to visit the acid volcano yet. They're like, I like to fish out here, but do I really want to go to the acid volcano layer? Nope. I feel like we should unleash some sort of like diabolical plague on this world. I mean, there's the flame tower. That's kind of fun. There's also the ice tower that spawns cold ones and freezes the ground. Let's put some of these in, should we? Oh, I don't want to, but I want to so bad. And also my new human village just got destroyed. It sucks. I want fire towers instead. I'm just gonna plant the little fire tower seeds right around the middle. They didn't plant. Can I plant a, I want to plant a fire tower. Maybe I'll plant one over on this island instead. Oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> Look at the demons running around. That's not satisfying. But they like to burn things, which is satisfying. They love this island. There's something very satisfying about these little donuts of fiery death. Like it burns up and then the grass grows back and it all burns again. And then it burns on the one side and it grows on the other side. Just wish there were people here to get burned up. That would be more exciting. So now that the world has been going for approximately 1,100 years, it's time for me to unleash a little bit of fun on it, I suppose. We can see the different cultures here. There's 370 people with the elves and they're a bunch of tree hugging hippies. Look at them wandering around with their gigantic little army. It sure would be a shame if we'd forced them to go to war with somebody. Yes, Fua. Let me see your king. Oh, King Lono. Oh, wow. Whatever this does. He likes the cider. <laughs> so let's look at these beautiful little elves. 376 people in this town. It'd be a shame if we were to find the king and be like, Hey, king, how are you? And his name's Luno. And his favorite drink is cider. Huh. <laughs> we got a we got a little tipsy one over here, but he's killed 69. No, he's killed one person, but he does 69 damage. No, no, it sure would be a shame if I forced you to go to war with somebody. Oh yay! The kingdom of rain has declared war on the Nozote. Let's bring that gigantic army of tree hugging hippies all the way through the desert to destroy the barbarians once and for all. Also, they're coming with their two-person army, which didn't last very long. No, no, you're not making peace, you hippies. We're not making peace. You're making war. Uh-oh. Um. Well, we have a two-sided war, and the game just decided to cry on me. So let's see what happens in this battle. Hot dang, the game is tired. And it crashed. Ooh, it uncrashed. Yay. Wow, that's a big war. And most of the dwarves are on fire. They're like, yay, we were born in the fire and darkness. And and now they're just, they just crush the elves. Stupid tree huggers. Was that the entire army of the elves? I think it was because the barbarians and the dwarves are now coming in. I should force them to war too. Hey, dark faces, go to war. <laughs> now they're going to start battling right here in the corridor. Yes, we need a worldwide war. Bring the humans involved too. Everybody, it's a party. We're just gonna sprinkle war everywhere in the world. Except for the island I sprinkled with cows. They're not going to war. Everyone else will though. What we're gonna do now is put Sonic Speed on. And then we're gonna find the war button again. Here it is. And we're gonna sprinkle war and destruction upon everyone for the rest of eternity until there is one victor. Except the cows, they're not going to war. Oh, and that really made the humans mad. Oh, did it ever. This is gonna be good. These are the smart humans back here. Check this out. They're long range, they have the bows. Anytime somebody gets in range, they're like, yes, let's pew pew them to death. 
Also, there's battles happening everywhere else in the world. There's more archers here. Ooh. Wait, no, 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 no. We're not making peace, you dorks. It's wartime. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. The king of Dum Dum got killed by Naka. We're just gonna make more war. What? Hold up. I never told you you guys could come settle on Cow Island. <laughs> I'm actually impressed by them. The humans are my new favorite. Might be a little bit, uh, they might have home field advantage because I'm also a human, if you can believe that. I just have to keep spamming the war button because everyone wants peace and it's illegal. No, 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 Zot Zot. You're not allowed to declare peace right now. This is wartime. Even the little children get slayed. That's a little sad. Oh, I feel bad for him now. Just kidding, I don't really feel bad. Oh, that's all that's left here is children in one watchtower. Except that one. That's like a giant dwarf. Oh, <laughs> they just chucked a firebomb from way over there. What are you guys doing? I didn't know you had firebombs. This watchtower is very deadly too. It is taking out my archers. I mean the human archers. And there's literally one human warrior left. He's like, I'm just gonna go over here and walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil and I will destroy this building. Oh, then he gets slain because he's kind of he was kind of dumb. He had a case of the dumbs in his head. Everyone just decided to make peace all at the same time again. I almost feel like that's a bad idea. Especially since the dwarves have repopulated their entire... Never mind, it's still burned down. Making more war, making more war. We have a problem. The world is too laggy. I got a Thanos snap half of them out of existence. We're just gonna, you know, use the coin, flip it, and then half of everyone's gonna die. That should make the world a lot better place to live. I mean, for me, anyway. Not for those other half. Ah, 914 creatures removed. Oh, still laggy. Got to remove another half of them. Also, I'm going to make it so they can starve to death because that's always fun. And got it. Also, they can die from old age. That might create something really bad of like a bunch of people just instantly dying. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> half of the population just died of old age. And now they keep dying because they're also old. So the world is in perpetual war for 600 years now, and literally nothing's that happened except for some colonial exploration. The humans have traveled over here. The, the barbarians who have been trying to get to war forever have made it over this way. I think there's only one more thing to do, and that is to turn on these buttons. I don't even know what they're for, but I want them on. Also, animals spawn and... No, we don't want peaceful monsters. Why would, why would you want peaceful monsters? And if you're wondering what happened here, uh, it was a, a little bit of a boop, and the meteor came in and blew it up. Wow. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> sorry, entire world's population of warriors. That was kind of rude of me. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, that was 200 people. Oh, no. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Ouch. Ow. And a bowling ball right over here. I don't know why, but bowling balls across the world seem... That's like a galactic-sized bowling ball that explodes on death. Oh, that was terrible. I probably shouldn't have done that. Man, I just disrupted the entire world's ecosystem. It sure would be a shame if somebody didn't spawn in 600 amazingly hungry bears and a single bunny rabbit. There is something satisfying about watching an entire horde of 300 bears, like break out and then and then not stand on top of each other because that's not what bears do oh but they're going for the humans because i mean they're friends with the tree hugging hippies i didn't realize that they were all gonna go after the humans they could have attacked the dwarves and stuff they're just <laughs> entirely dismantling the enemies choo choo bear train coming through <laughs> just mowing everything down <laughs> oh wow that's actually really satisfying watching it spread out and get back together and then spread out and get back together Together. <laughs> Reminds me of watching like the DVD thing as it bounced across the screen. The bear stampede is growing. <laughs> A giant wave of carnivores headed over here. Oh no, they just ate the king. <laughs> maybe, maybe some bunny rabbits spawned in. We'll stop the bear stampede. We just have to see. A couple hundred bunny rabbits. Uh, they're just multiplying. They're not actually doing anything. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, but there's buttload of bears. This little bear in the back, he's like, guys, hold up. I want to fight too. And the bunny rabbit's like, dudes, we're taking over this world. I didn't really realize the tsunami of bears were going to wipe out humanity. And they just killed like the third human king. Whoops. All of the humans are just inside their houses now. They're like, no, we're definitely not going outside. There's a, It's Alaska outside. There's bears everywhere. And meanwhile, 
what's left of the human army is just traveling in the mountains close by the barbarian stronghold as the bears are ravishing their homeland. Except for the few peaceful bears that are hanging out with the elves. And now Notzot made peace. Great. I was trying to eradicate the Notzot with bears. Can I turn the cactuses alive? Oh yeah. <laughs> now that I gotta turn the world's cactuses alive. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe the cactuses will fight back against the barb. I don't even care. We're just turning all the cactuses in the world alive. Including the ones by the bunny rabbits. Question is, do they attack the bunny rabbits? No. But the bears are dying of starvation poisoning. Oh, the elves are fighting. No, those aren't the elves. The elves don't care. Everything else is attacking the cactuses. That's nice. And <laughs> they killed the king. <laughs> you know, I've been saving one little thing. Not this island down here. Not the volcano island up there. Definitely not the island with the boring barbarians on it. But no, it's this island. Flooded with zombies. Purple ones, in fact. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do a little connection here. We don't want to hurt any of the zombies. So have fun, friends. <laughs> Go play. We're gonna do some sonic speed and watch the zombies maybe go eat something. These guys are trying to come over. Oh, that was a bad idea. You do not want to come over here. Oh, the king died of the wrong civilization. And now we just have this gigantic undead horde that's sweeping the world. Very nice. That's always satisfying. And another uh, cactus grew. If the humans won't kill, the zombies will. Some of these zombies have very nice weapons. Look at this one. He's got a mithril wild ax. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably because he killed a human with it. Or barbarian. These guys are pretty stacked. But don't worry. Where there's one dead, there's a thousand more. So these zombies, uh, they're having a pretty good time other than being, you know, lit on fire and stuff. It'd be a shame. Oh, wow. The civilization's gone. I was going to say it'd be a shame if somebody were to make it be at war with everyone else. And the village was dead. These are the only people alive. We should probably build another tunnel over here. The poor little barbarians totally broke the law. They knew that peace was illegal and they kept trying to make it. Just want to see what the zombies kind of do now. Because it's amazing. Like this world is amazing. Get it? Ha, ha, ha. The zombies don't seem to care either. They've equipped with pretty nasty weaponry here. And it appears the barbarians have been deleted. Other than the ones floating around with the surrendered flag. They must be French barbarians. I didn't know it was possible, but the elves actually have a strategy. They're putting their entire army right here into this corridor to block it away from the zombie infection. What happens though if I create a little, just a little tiny zombie infection right here? Yeah, they start fighting each other. Oh my word. I didn't realize there was so many elves there. There's like hundreds of them all stacked up. <laughs> I mean, oh no, the poor elves. Oh, sad. Here comes the cactus. Like I'm gonna save the day. Stupid cactuses. They allied with the elves. Look at this. They're just protecting the homeland. I hate to do it. Just kidding. I don't really hate to do it, but we are breaking down the maze. The zombies are allowed in now. Flood the world, my peasants. Actually, you guys can come over here too. I don't really care. I'm not going to judge. And flood this way and connect over here and do the thing to volcanic island with the demon creatures that I accidentally just unleashed against humanity. And the same over there. Oh no. Oh wow. That thing is spitting straight fire. Much like me when I drop my next mixtape. Come on. There it goes. Oh yeah. I didn't realize that that thing did that. It's just gonna smack it once. Dude. <laughs> hey, there we go. We got archers involved until the demon shows up to attack him. Can we get demon weapons? That sounds kind of fun. I want a flame sword of doom. Oh, wow. The elf actually destroyed the tower. These have 666 hit points. I guess that's fitting. I really just want to know if they die, if the elf, the elf has the flame sword. The elf totally has the flame sword. <laughs> and he jumped in the water to save himself. Nicely done, dude. Oh, no, that one died. Oh, nice. <laughs> One of the dwarves has a flame sword of terror now. And they're just battling. Oh, wait. Where'd that demon come from? I don't really know. Oh, hot dang. The zombies have just cleared out all of the dwarves over there. And they're moving forward. Oh, but we got peace going everywhere else. And a bunch of kings dying and stuff. You know, the huge. The humans are trying to hold their own on the little island fortress they made. But I don't think it's working. Very oh, the zombies just made it in. And the humans beat them back. Interesting. Oh, not quite. There's some, some turning into zombies. I think what happened down here was all of the bears 
starved to death, and then the elves came in and were like, hey, we're gonna build a cool little fortress here. Oh no. That's gonna be the end of the humans. The zombies are coming in from the top side, the elves in from the bottom, and the humans are now dead. Wow, and the elves just decided to show up and just colonize the area. And also, wow, did, <laughs> do we have a victor? I think we have a victor. Now, if I give it 100 years, I'm wondering if the elves can retake the land. I pressed a button. I don't know what it does. Oh, balls. <laughs> it's the god finger. Kind of messed up civilization using it. So that's not good. Can you be done, god finger? I just got it. Let's just hit the god with a lightning bolt, see if it'll work. Boom. Oh, yay. <laughs> I, I just killed god's finger with... Lightning. I think the zombies finally broke through the defense. There was like 200 people here, and now the zombies are like, oh, we're getting so many brains. I think that's kind of what happens if you like break the rules and make peace in the world. Oh, I actually killed them all. Interesting. A ship must have come from the sea. Anyway, fellas, I think that'll do it for today's video. I don't know if the humans can retake the land. I, mean, I know they can't because they're dead, but the elves might be able to. Yeah, that's something to explore maybe in the future. So thanks for watching and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank all of the channel members and Patreon supporters, including Alan H, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Epius, Desby, Eagle Ark, Maxer, Whip It Good, Baron Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason M. Rail, Splatter Sacks, Iffy Sphere, Joe B, Obi-John Kenobi, Fury Arrow, and Doug Rules 2.0. 